If we're looking at number three, it says uh, reverse the tabular method of multiplication to find this. Now look, they kind of halfway set it up for you to kind of get you started with this so you guys can do, do the challenge for me. So they put x minus 2 right here on the side. That's this on the bottom, right? And you see what they have on top? 2x squared, x and minus 10. They put those on the side because that's the answer, right? It's because we're going backwards. So two of these boxes inside of this, ta this table are really easy to fill in. The 2x squared, because you don't have to add to get that one, and the negative 10. We don't know these ones because uh, we don't know these numbers up here. We needed those numbers up there in, in order to find those other ones. Now, these numbers actually are kind of simple to find, right? Because right? you have to multiply x times something to get that. What do you have to multiply x by to get that? 2x. 2x. So we would put 2x right there. Now, look, look at this one right here. How would you get negative 10 if this is a negative 2? What would you have to multiply it by? 5. five. So you got those two right now. And now you know the answer, 2x plus 5. That's the answer to this division problem. Now, once you get those two, you can actually find these two uh, answers right there pretty, pretty quickly. Because you just have to go 5 times x, which would be 5x. And then you would go 2x times negative 2, which would be negative 4x. We don't need them to find the, the final answer, but you might need those extra ones to find that. 